Welcome to UML Fan Chris Romero News. Here is your top stories for today. Yes, you may have heard on my community post, Dan Snyder is in fact suing the producers of Quiet on Set for defamation. Now I know the comments are going to have the biggest field day with this one, but I want to know from viewers, what is your thoughts on Dan Snyder suing the producers of Quiet on Set? To tell you more information on why Dan Snyder is suing, here is Eric. Eric, what do you have? Six weeks after Investigation Discovery released its docu series Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, Dan Snyder, the writer, producer, and former king of Nickelodeon original programming is suing the network for defamation. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Schneider's lawsuit was filed in the Los Angeles Superior Court and accuses the makers of quiet on set, an exploration of the toxic, and sometimes a bad environment at Nickelodeon during the 2000s, of performing a hit job on Schneider. Quiet on set was widely viewed when its episodes rolled out in March on Max, a streaming service that gave the ID doc an era prestige it may not have possessed otherwise. It also generated lots of headlines. Warner Brothers Discovery, which owns Max, Maxine Productions, and Sony Pictures, Television, is also named in the suit, THR Reports, which seeks unspecified damages and a court order that will require producers to either edit portions of the docu series or remove it from streaming completely. Well, let me know down below what you think of this lawsuit. Yes, this has been brought to my attention. Noggin will not be shutting down in the fall. It will be shutting down july 2nd of this year so i'm gonna read you an email that viewers have gotten and it reads we write to inform you that the noggin app will shut down on july 2nd 2024 but don't worry you can still watch many of your child's favorite shows on paramount plus your subscription will automatically renew on your current billing date and frequency until may 30th if you are still an active subscriber on may 30th you will no longer be billed and you will lose access to noggin no later than July 2nd. If you do not wish to renew your subscription, please cancel at least 24 hours before your next billing date. Your access will be revoked on that date and you will not be able to resubscribe to Noggin after you cancel. So doing further research, it actually shuts down on Tuesday, July 2nd, and that's a week before Kids' Choice Awards happens. So I will also like to know, did anyone else get the email? Let me know down below. And finally, Nickelodeon on Netflix. I did not know this was even a thing, but it has entered the splash. Well, guys, that's a wrap of this video. Thank you so much for taking time watching this video. And as always, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out, my friends. And go Riverhawk to go Pirates. Hashtag the splat is back.